the Ash Bishop province of the Niger, Most Reverend Alexander Ibizim, says Eastern Nigeria has suffered the weight of marginalization and should be given a chance at the national leadership of the country for the interest of justice and peace. Archbishop Ibezim stated this while presenting his presidential charge during the second session of the 13th Synod of the Anglican Diocese of Oka held at the Church of Pentecost Oka. Religious correspondent Amaka Chibuzo Okoye now completes the story. Bishop Ibezim, who is the Bishop of Oka Diocese, and president of the Synod called on President Bola Tinubu as a matter of urgency to obey the court and release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Maze Nnamdi Kano, and lamented the unbearable pain of poverty, hunger, and economic hardship in the country and called on the president to overhaul his economic policies, which he said is bereft of necessary informative value for the economy. He further commended Governor Chukuma Soludo's government on the level of development it has achieved so far in Anambra, saying that every sector of the state economy is feeling the impact of the Soludo's good governance and drew the attention of the governor to the menace of courtism and touting in the state, asking him to urgently tackle them and as well look into the abuse of power by some government agencies and officials. On the theme of the synod, running the Christian race, implication for the church in Peru times, Archbishop P. Bezim urged Christians to approach their Christian journey with purpose, discipline, and goal of eternal reward. In running this race, our example is Jesus. But I say this, we are in a time that we look unto people. And so when the people were looking unto fairs, in his speech, Governor Soludo, represented by the Speaker, Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Reverend Somtochuku Udeze, congratulated the Diocese on the Synod and reminded the Church of its role in molding characters, saving lives in these perilous times, as well as engaging the youth in meaningful activities and reassured of his intention to recreate a society that will guarantee the safety of all. Parents struggling to survive, and um, when parents are surviving to survive, that means they create more time in trying to end the living. In a remark, the Bishop, Diocese of Aguata, Right Reverend Samuel Ezofo, and the Bishop, Diocese on the Niger, Right Reverend Owen Mokolo, urge Christians to run the race according to the dictates of the Word of God. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate the Archbishop, the grace, for taking the responsibility to pilot the university. Earlier, while adopting the Archbishop's charge as a working document in the diocese, the Chancellor of the Diocese, Justice O.J. Okeke, represented by his vice, Barrister Belo Olisangonfo, described the charge as a guide towards running the Christian race. The Synod attracted over 40 Archbishops and Bishops, the President Mothers Union, Girls Guild, Province of the Niger, Dr. Choma Ibezim, the member representing Oka South One State Constituency, Honorable Henry Mbacho, and dignitaries from all spheres of life, from Anglican Church of the Pentecost, Oka Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News.